What's up guys, it is I the Apple Buyer here today and I'm back with a brand new video for you all and today I'm going to do a video where I basically live with this iPhone 5S here for not a week but six days if you count today, five days if you don't count today. And I was planning to do this a full seven days starting yesterday but there were some technical difficulties I ran into this phone. I, I got all the, the problems, all the kinks and everything solved and resolved and everything, so don't worry about that. This phone is good to go. I have it all set up. I have most of my apps on here. Some of them I didn't install just because they're video production apps, and I won't be recording uh, YouTube videos with this phone as far as I'm aware of. Maybe I will, but I don't think so. The most I need for these next five days is iMovie, which I do have on here. So yeah, I have my whole phone set up here, notifications, I do have service on it, everything's good to go, all I need to do is just use it. Now one thing that I might bitch about is battery life, but I so far that I've been using it hasn't been horrible, I mean, I'd say it's about the same as my iPhone 6, which is kind of sad, considering that this phone has a 29% worn out battery, so I mean, it's not horrible I mean it's bad but I mean it could be worse at least it's not like 75 percent or something like that I mean it's livable I should replace the battery in this phone at some point maybe I'll do a video on that eventually but yeah the only problem with it really is that it has a kind of crappy old battery in it and it does have a b bad ESN for the record but um for whatever reason my since it has a bad ESN on Sprint not Verizon so I can use Verizon on this phone no problems whatsoever so it's pretty nice actually so this phone is running iOS 10.1 uh, the reason why I'm keeping on 10.1 is for the jailbreak although I've heard rumors about 10.2 getting a jailbreak so maybe I'll update it I don't know yet and uh, yeah so the current device I use right now is an iPhone 6 running iOS 8.4.1 so this is gonna be a bit weird I'm going to be upgrading to software I'm going from iOS 8 to iOS 10 so that's gonna be kinda new for me but then I'm also going from an older device to, uh, or a newer device to an older device. So, like, I'm going old to new and then new to old. It's, it's complicated, but whatever. I mean, let's see how I can do with the iPhone 5S. Um, so far, my experiences have been alright with it since I have been using it for about a day now. But tomorrow I'll give you my full experience and everything since I will be able to use this phone 100% all the way. So, yeah, see you Tuesday. Quick side note too, I am recording this video with my iPhone 6, that is my personal phone, but this, literally this is the only thing I'm using it for. My iPhone 6 will be the only uh, thing that I use for this video, so when I'm recording this video, you're seeing it on the iPhone 6. Alright guys, so the day is over with the 5S, and it is Tuesday. School is canceled, and I mainly just played the PlayStation all day, so I didn't use that, this phone too much. Although, for how long I've been using this phone, I seriously don't mind using this phone. And last night, since it was nighttime, and I usually use my phone in the dark at night, um, I decided to use Night Shift. And keep in mind that I am a, an iOS 8 user, on an average basis, basis at least. So, I would say it doesn't have night shift. So, last night was my first time experiencing hands-on with night shift. And I gotta say, it's, it's pretty cool. I, I have it enabled right now. I have it set to where it'll turn on uh, every night at 11 and shut off at 7. So, overall, I, I like night shift so far. That's like my uh, go-to thing now. I think night shift is awesome. You guys might not use it, but I think night shift is cool. Also, I did want to say a quick thing about performance and battery life on this phone. So far, the performance on this phone overall for how old this phone is, it's pretty good. It's definitely usable, and I can definitely live with the performance on this phone. It is a tad bit kind of, I wouldn't say stuttery because it doesn't lag. I mean, it doesn't lag, but like, it has a couple hangs here and there, and you can notice it, but I mean... I have patience, and it doesn't even take much patience, really. I can deal with it. I mean, overall, the performance is great on this phone, and the battery life is so-so on it, but I don't think that's because of iOS 10. It's just, the, like I said earlier in the video, the battery is just crappy in it, but the battery is doable, too. I mean, I've gotten by with a decent charge. It's a little bit worse than my iPhone 6, but, I mean, it's, it's not too big of a deal. 
See you tomorrow on Wednesday. All right, guys. So it is officially day three now, uh, Wednesday. And I got to say, I mean, overall, I mean, I, now that I've used Night Shift for the second time in a row, there really isn't that much of a difference. I, I haven't really cared that much about Night Shift. I mean, it was cool the first time, but after that, it's just like, whoop de doo or I have it scheduled for at every uh, night at 11, it'll turn on. So it's like, whoop de doo it's 11, Night Shift, yeah. I feel like... Night shift is a cool feature, but night mode would be even better. That would be something to be like, oh yeah, night mode, sweet. But like night shift is like, yeah. Overall though, performance has been great. I, I will say, I mean, like I've said before, performance is a little bit worse than my iPhone 6, but not by much, and it's definitely doable. Uh, after a full day at school, my battery is at 29. I just got home for the record. And I'm I'm going into the battery settings right now to tell you the um the usage times. So um two hours and forty minutes of on screen time and it's at twenty nine. But keep in mind it hasn't been on the charger for almost sixteen hours and thirty five minutes. So overall pretty good uh standby times and and pretty good I mean two hours and forty minutes, yeah, I know it's not good on use time, but when you consider it or factor in the fact that it's been it's not been on the charger for 16 hours it's pretty good let's see you on thursday all right guys so it is the end of thursday the time is 1207 and i do have night shift on obviously you can see there if you can't see the the orange hues or not and yeah i mean just a normal day the battery has overall been doing okay I've noticed that at the end of each school day, I'm around 29 to maybe 20-ish percent. So, I mean, ballpark range, it's definitely about the same. Um, I haven't really, I mean, this is just normal everyday use. I will say, if I want to say something new for the phone, since I don't want to say the same thing every clip, um, it's just that the keyboard, it's a little bit too small. I, I think, like, the bigger screen really helps with, like, multitasking just because there's more room for your fingers to glide all over the place because when I'm texting multiple people it gets kind of hard because my my fingers I don't know it's just harder to multitask on this this smaller phone if you ask me so with that all being said see you all tomorrow on Friday also I'm not sure how well you can see it but I hope you guys happen to like um my whole setup there I got a nice Duran Duran um tape boxing, my PS4 Pro box, and then some iPhone 3G box. It's a Taiwan box. I, I don't know. It's, it's just a box I have, and then my iPhone 6 box there. And Don't worry. I'll keep adding more boxes down there, mainly Apple device boxes as time goes on. I might throw my iPod box down there, but I don't know. See you all tomorrow. It is Friday, and I've went through another day of use. And I gotta say, uh, I did, uh, I, I've talked to a couple friends, because the battery has been, like, up and down. Sometimes it's good, sometimes it's bad, and it's just like, what? So I talked to a few friends, and they were like, oh, your battery might be calibrating. So I was like, oh, really? And they are like, yeah, you should just uh, fully charge your phone, then let, let it 100% die, then fully charge it again, and it should be better. So I will say the battery life has been pretty good, and honestly... It lasted longer than my iPhone 6 today, so that says something. And then, let's check the battery life. Okay, well, the battery app here says otherwise, but I mean, still, I've had great battery life. Like, I, this is the first time, I, it's at 90% right now, but you can see the, the wear level right there. It's at 29% wear. But I've still gotten through almost a full day of use. That's from... Charging my phone overnight, waking up at 7 a.m., uh, right? Yeah, 7 a.m., unplugging it, using it through school, using it all morning. And most of the day, I plugged in at about, like, 5 o'clock-ish. So it lasted a good amount of time, better than my 6. My 6 would probably be dead by 4.30. So, I mean, I've seen some big differences in battery life. And I think, even though I should probably replace the battery in this phone at some point, that the battery life on the 5S is way better than the iPhone 6 and that's sad. Other than that though, what have I done with this phone? Just everyday stuff. Just 
texting, typing. Uh, I haven't, I've been editing this video, the video you're watching right now, as I go. Like every time I record a new, uh, new day, I airdrop it since I'm recording with my iPhone 6. That way you get those butter smooth 60 frames. Uh, I airdrop the file over to my 5S and then I just edit it and render as I go. So, I mean, overall, the performance has been great, as I said. So far, I'm happy with this phone, but like I said, I don't remember when I said it, but I know I said that I miss the bigger screen size. That is the one thing. This screen size here isn't bad, but, you know, I just prefer the 4.7 inch display on the iPhone 6. Saturday is officially over. It is Sunday. It is 3.20 a.m. I know it's, it's late. So, you know, I mean, overall, what have I done? Well, I use this device as a voice memos device for my iPhone 3GS drop test video and you know it, it worked out great for that it, it was and I also edited my 3GS video on this device no problems so that was probably the most taxing thing I did on it I did have one battery problem with the phone and that was like when I uh, it was I remember specifically I was 11 o'clock and um, night shift just turned on since I have it on scheduled. And um, around that time, I had um, all my videos ready to start like airdropping over to my, from my 6, because that's what I recorded on, was my iPhone 6. And I was airdropping files, and the phone was at like 20 something percent. And all of a sudden, it just randomly dropped to 3% for no reason. I was like, what, what happened? What happened? So that was one weird thing I ha that happened with the phone. Other than that, though, normal day-to-day -day use and then the, the editing of the video. So that was Saturday. See you all today because today is Sunday right now. So see you all at the end of Sunday for the conclusion. Okay, guys, so it is the end of Sunday, and my full week of using this phone is officially over, and I'm, generally speaking, really glad I'm done using this phone. It's not that I hate the 5S or anything, but, you know, I do miss my iPhone 6 for multiple reasons, and I'll get into that. First off, I just want to get into what I did since today was the day I used this phone. What did I do with this phone? Well, today was kind of the most heavy usage day, I guess you can say, last night and today. Uh, I made that iPhone 3GS video off of this phone. I edited, edited it and rendered it on this phone, so that was pretty pretty intensive on this phone. I did not record the video though with this phone. I recorded it with my iPhone 6. Usually that's what I use as my camera device. But this was the editing device. And I've just used it as a normal iPhone like I would every day. So this phone overall has put been put to the limits with iMovie and that's about it. So my general uh so the way I've been using this phone all week is normally how I would use my iPhone 6 all week. And I gotta say, it's been overall pleasing, I'd have to say. I do like this phone. I like the iPhone 5S a lot. I think it's a great phone, especially for $80 since that's what I paid for this phone. I think this was an absolute steal. Can you live with an iPhone 5S for a week? Especially when it runs iOS 10.X. Definitely, definitely. You can definitely live with this phone. I think this is an absolutely amazing phone. I'd recommend getting a 32 or 64 gig, but I mean, surprisingly, iOS 10 and the storage man management system on uh, the 16 gigabyte models is actually pretty good. That's one thing I, I also wanted to say. iOS 8 has a way far, 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 far worse, uh, I guess you can say, storage management system. I don't know what you want to call it, but like, I literally, I have everything that I would normally have on this phone and more on this phone instead of my iPhone 6, and I can still get by doing so many things. So I think the storage management on the um, iOS 10 is amazing. I kind of just had a, a little bit of a roll over there. Just move on with that. So the storage management is absolutely amazing on iOS 10. Another great thing that I liked about using this phone was Night Shift. I know I said it wasn't that exciting, but I still do like Night Shift. I, it almost makes me want to update to iOS 10 on my iPhone 6, but I'm holding back on iOS 8 just because it, it's just home to me. Although I do say I love iOS 10. I think iOS 10 is a great operating system, especially on the 5S. 
and I'm excited to get a new phone soon. So with that all being said, guys, can you live with the 5S for uh, a week? Yes, but I mean, not even a week. You could probably push with this phone another two years if you left it on iOS 10. This phone could easily go by another two years and still be your daily driver, if you ask me. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed using this phone for a week. I'm glad I don't have to uh, deal with this small screen anymore, since I do miss the iPhone 6 screen. That's the thing I miss the most. And have a good one. Peace.